Hey everyone, it's Timestorm. I'm back again for another video. This time I have a camera over here, so I'm not sure how this is all going to work. At all. Anyways, um, playing some Space Engineers. Uh, just going to show you a few things uh, that I've seen today. Uh, right now I've loaded up the Milton Player Mission and I'm playing with some people in my team speak. Uh, basically, we have a, we've started off in survival mode with some meteors and it has destroyed our beginning platform. Um, to the point where it's pretty much unrecognizable. Let me go over here. Oh, Nunes just joined. There we go. And as you can see, this is the starting platform, which is pretty much not a platform anymore. We lost quite a few things here. Um, today I'm going to show you what we built to destroy these ships you see here. Like, whenever you die, you come in and you spawn and in one of these ships and we're like oh how do we easily refine that ship make it better make it refinable so or refine it and use the parts for other builds like maybe another ship uh, let me go down here back into this rock and this is where our new base is um, if you didn't know already all the meteors come from the sun or at least in the direction of the sun and go toward other meteors um, so yeah if you build on the other side the opposite side the dark side of the meteor you'll be fairly fine from any kind of imminent damage. So over here we have many ships that we get over here. As you can see some of these are already battered by uh, some of the things. This is one of the ships I made actually with the new parts that they just released which uh, I believe are the kind of like a pipes, uh, this right here, the conveyor tubes, there we go, um, with a collector which do part in a conveyor on here. Basically what it does, you park your ship above here, it unloads, it goes through all these tube systems into the front of the ship and into this refinery. Where this refinery does its thing, and right now I think it's doing stone because I tested out stone and it made some gravel. So yeah, that's how you do that. Um, this is how you recycle the, recycle the other ships. This is pretty much the same kind of system as that, except for this is a large storage container. So our storage container on one of the doors has the collector, which I showed you previously. And this is our funnel. Now our funnel is big enough for you can park a ship like this into it. And when you park a ship like this into it, all you do is go down to here, grab your, your uh, grinder, and grind it down. As you can see, the parts fall down, hit the ramp, slide down, straight into the the collector, which is very handy for quickly going through and assembling ships. No more running back and forth from the, uh, from the cargo container that's sitting next to the ship you're trying to demolish. And we've went through a few of these ships before by hand and carrying things back and forth, and it was just kind of a tedious task. Now you don't even have to worry about your inventory. You just dump everything straight into the uh, nice little hole here. So let me a little bit more of the ship away. Okay, anyways, um, if I go down to the bottom of this thing now, you will see this large storage con in this large storage container. We've actually had a few ships that we demolished from, uh, they're passing by as you see on here. There's one that's called a private sail over there about eight kilometers away. Um, that is actually one of the spawn ships that you can set in the configuration file. So basically, we catch captured a few of those. Um, also, I think we had a mining ship of some sort, I can't remember what it's called, and we demolished those. Um, basically almost every single part went down a ramp except for a few that fell out because they're a little too big. Um, and go into here. As you can see we have a lot of parts now and a lot of different ores from when we're doing that. You can hear Nunix in the background grinding away um, because it's kind of what we're doing now to get parts. Um, as you can see we have large stacks of pretty much anything you can possibly think of. Um, so yeah, this is a little system in our little survival uh, game we're currently playing. Um, what other things can I show you about this mission? Um, well, I've already showed you the ship that sucks everything in. Uh, I can show you the ship on the opposite end. This is one of our little mining ships we have uh, that goes around. If I get into it, turn it on, 
move it. And then... Oh, wait. I just locked the gear on it. Apparently the gear started... Locked? Let's go over here and get some platinum. Or maybe some gold. Let's get some gold. So basically... You can mine like normal ship. Go down. Grab some of this stuff. Now once you get it into your... Ship, it's actually it's actually stored in the mining bits itself. So what you can do with this? Oop, there's a lot of gold there. Actually, I know why. Oh, okay. Don't do that. If you ever use what I'm about to show you, always turn them off or you lose all your stuff and they just get thrown into space. So yeah, let me uh, keep the random ones away. Get some gold in here. Get some stone. Gold. And some more gold here. And a little bit more gold. These should be a little bit hard to fly because of the mining bits on the front are kind of hard to control sometimes, so that's a little bit of getting used to. Let's go down here to the ship. I like to kind of do this in like the external view because it's a lot easier to maneuver over a fine area. Now what we have on the bottom is actually, I believe it was a, is it a collector as well? Let me get over this. Okay, so as you can see, this ship is lined up over this big collector on the ship. Now I can go into here, go into the connector, connector, that's what it's called. And you can hit a button called throw out, and throw out basically, oh, is it? As it sounds, oops, starts throwing the things, the, the parts out of the ship. Now where they're coming from is on this ship. Let's see, as you can see, there's a conveyor, which is hooked to one of these doors on the back of the drill, with a pipe connecting it to another conveyor in the middle that goes to this connector. And the connector can then pull from both of these and spit out. So now it's spitting into this ship, which again, like I showed you earlier, goes into this area, the refinery, um, and is dumping in. And the refinery is processing the ores. So basically, it's this ship up to be a big um, mining ship that allows for team based mining, in, I guess. I might add some more of the collectors over here so we can more efficiently uh, throw ores in and process it and all that fun stuff. Um, what else do we have? I think that's it for this base. And I'll probably just every once in a while come into here, catch you guys up with what we're doing. Um, this is a pretty neat little thing. I might do some episodes where I have some people on and recording this, although one of our people are not on right now, so I kind of don't want to get into much recording because I kind of want to have them part of it. Um, but yeah, this is Space Engineers with a new update again, the conveyor update, which adds a whole new functionality. Uh, be warned though that the connectors must be finished before you save and restart the server, or the server as in the game, because if you save it, quit and come back, there's some problems with it not loading those objects again. So you could lose your whole ship if it's not complete. So keep that in mind. Make sure connectors are connectors. Actually, I'd make sure almost all of these are fine. Another thing we found, another bug we found, you play multiplayer with people, um, there's a chance of the connectors actually crashing the host's game and therefore crashing everyone's game. So if you ever have a ship that you want to empty out, like the one I just empty out, Make sure you're the host of the game, and uh, I should probably, uh, that'll mostly mitigate that whole issue. So, um, other than that, this is Timestorm. Um, I've made my, actually, if you go here, that is my new uh, IRL channel. I'm starting a little IRL channel for whatever reason, because I kind of want to talk to a camera and make a fool of myself, saying, talking about stupid things. So yeah, go over there, check that out, have some fun with it, and uh, I'll see you guys next time. Bye!